Good morning, friends. Welcome to my channel. My name's Bernard. Today I'm going to record the Wolf Art Opus 45 Etude Number 4. Let's do a quick look at it. One sharp, key of G, G major. Two over four, two beats a measure, quarter gets a beat. Tempo indication, Allegretto. Now, Allegretto is a little slower than Allegro. So, Allegro is usually bright. Doesn't have to necessarily mean fast, even though sometimes it is fast, but sometimes bright. But Allegretto is a little slower then. So uh, this piece, I can glance at it and see it's got this eighth and two sixteenths. That means the first first beat of the measure is going to be down bow. The second beat's going to be up bow, and that looks like he's got that pattern. Oh, I see. There's one place where it's a quarter note. That's kind of cute. I always like that on this piece. Get that one little place where we slow down just for a moment. So let's just try it. I haven't played it for a long time. So same old, same old. Get first finger down, then you find your third finger D. Put the bow on the string. You're set to go. Now looks like my bow is a little loose. Tighten my bow a little bit. Let's try it. Nice piece. Now that I play it, I don't know. There's just something bouncy, and I, I don't know. It's the accidentals he puts in. Um, make note. I see on the the third line. I'm using the Shermer's the Shermer's edition. Oh, sure. Looks like this. A lot of people use the same edition. Um, on the third line, the first measure has a B F sharp. D sharp. I like playing fourth finger on that D sharp. The third finger is obviously also playable, but you play if you play fourth on that D sharp, and then of course later in the measure, then the next measure starts with third finger A. So you, you have a chance, you know, I, I don't know, I just like having my students get as much, you know, action with the fourth finger for strength and flexibility. It's a nice, it's a nice thing. So I'm going to play the piece one more time. Oh, I notice it's also got a dynamic at the beginning of the piece. Um, mezzo forte. I don't know. I think I sort of play it forte. I don't think it makes that much difference. Mezzo forte, forte. So let's try it again. I could still do better. Try it one more time. 
to that squeak. These pieces are not, not a challenge for the left hand. The challenge is always for the bow to make good contact with the string, make sure the string responds with every, with every stroke. Uh, Yash, uh, Sasha, Sasha Schneider, when I worked with, used to talk about this all the time. He always said, oh, left hand, practice, practice. But he says the bow, that's really the hardest part about playing the violin, controlling the bow. Okay, well, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoy practicing the piece also. Have a great day.